rented cars and not really looking fake too. What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do this really cool color selection effect that I think is really unique and you guys will see this in a lot of music videos. All right guys, so the effect comes from a lot of music videos, of course, but some that I've seen come from Kyle I Spy featuring little Yachty and you can see that if I push play, let me go back a little bit here. But if I go ahead and push play, you're going to see that here the mountain, obviously uh, the bushes and stuff are not blue. So they changed it to make it blue. So you go from green to a blue. And this looks really, really cool, guys. You can easily do this in Final Cut Pro 10. Another effect that I seen this was in Lil Sky's The Sauce music video, as you can see here. And if I go back here, you can see uh, just how that looks. And they could just turn it from green to purple or whatever color you want. So this is really cool. So that is the effect that I found it from. Now I want to show you guys how to do it in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm not too sure what to give this name or what to call this effect, but that's what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to call it a color selection effect. And I'm going to show you guys this. So I'm going to push play and show you guys what it would look like. Rented cars and not really looking fake too. So right there, as you can see, I just got a really, really short snippet of his music video just to show you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this color correction. So this is what our music video would look like without any effects, right? Of course, this music video was already color corrected and color graded. So we don't have to do anything from there. The only thing we need to do is just add some effects. So what I want to do is I want to turn these trees into purple or orange or whatever color you guys want. First thing you want to do is go to the effects. In the effects, you want to go to the color, and in the color, go ahead and look for color correction and just drag that onto your video. So you're going to have something like this. Okay, nothing happened. So go into color correction and go to this little down arrow. Click on that and click on where it says masks. Click on add color. So we want to go ahead and add a color mask. So we want to mask pretty much a color selection. So now we have a eyedropper tool. So all we got to do now is just skim through the music video and find a place where you want to select. So I want to select everything that has, I want to say uh, this green right here. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with this green right here. So once you click and drag, you're going to have a circle. Okay. So this will change the diameter within that and select everything that's related to that color. Take for instance, if we drag it out, the white area is what's going to be selected with our selection. But if we drag this down lower, you can see that we're only selecting the darkest areas, as you can see. So you want everything except, obviously, their skin tones because we don't want to change them to purple either. So now we go into, we can increase the softness if you want, but we're going to go into the color board here. Now, if you have the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10, that is going to be a miracle to you guys. I... I don't know why, but I don't have it yet, but I will get to you guys once I do. Um, but for now, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will probably have the older version of Final Cut Pro 10, which is 10.3.4 or something like that. But if you if you still have this older color board, it's totally fine. It's doable. But if you have the multiple color wheels, that is just fine as well. So in the color here, we don't want to change the global because this will change everything as you can see. But if you guys want to do it that way and it's really quick, you can just literally click and drag this down and you're done. However, we want to be a little bit more specific, right? So we want to go ahead and click on the shadows and maybe adjust those, okay? So we can make this a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler. So we want to go on the cooler side of things. So we can go over here and literally just drag this all the way over here. So the shadows are pretty much everything that is the darkest areas, okay? So in this case, since there's a lot of shadows here, that's what we want to adjust. So we can click and drag this here. Now, the reason we don't want to use global is because, well, I guess I will just change everything. and Maybe you don't want that. So you'll want some flexibility with your color selection. So go to shadows. You want to go ahead and just drag this a little bit over here. Maybe you want a little bit of purple or we can go really exaggerated. I just want it a very subtle, but not too, not too strong. So maybe around there. And then the midtones are pretty much everything that's in between the highlights and the shadows. So maybe we want it a little bit more blue or maybe a, a little bit more purple. So I'm just dragging this up and down. And if you just move this around, you could always get that effect as well. So maybe you want this a little bit cooler of a purple or a warmer of a purple. 
I want this more of a cooler purple. So I'm going to drag this up a little bit, but not too much. And in the highlights, these are going to focus on pretty much the sky and everything that's very bright in the image. So we're going to go ahead and either make this more so we can increase this a, a little bit. And then in the saturation here, you can adjust the same thing as in the color. You still have the same values such as global, shadows, midtones, and highlights. But the saturation will make it more saturated. It will make it more, I would say, more colorful. So it will just, it's pretty much the strength of the color. So if we drag this up, you can see it's very saturated. And if we bring this down, it's pretty much desaturated. And this just focuses on the mask itself. This does not uh, adjust any of the yellows or in the actual video. So this is only focusing on the mask that we selected in the color range tool or the eyedropper tool which is pretty cool so now we can go ahead and maybe we want to increase this a little bit more we can do that but we're not going to adjust the saturation we're going to go to the exposure so we can make this a little bit brighter or darker or you can make it more contrasty so we can go to the shadows we can make this very faded or very dark so i'm going to make this a little bit dark but not too much and in the midtones we can make this brighter or a little darker i'm going to make this a little bit brighter and in the highlights, we can make this brighter as well or dark. So I think I'm going to make it a little bit bright, but not too much. So 5%. So now if we go back and we preview this, so this is the color correction. So this is the before and the after. So that looks really cool. Now, how do we get that? I would say, I'm going to go and push play so you guys can see what it looks like first. So there you go. It looks super dope in my opinion. Now, how do you get that before and after footage? It's really easy. Just select your clip here, press Command C and... Go to the end of that clip and press command V to paste it. Drag that beneath this video here. So you have pretty much two of the same clips, but we want to select one of them and get rid of the effects. So we want to go into the color correction and we're going to get rid of the effects. So this is the main video and the bottom one is the one without the effects. Okay. So now the top video, what we want to do is start it from the beginning. From the beginning, what you want to do is you want to go into the effects and just type in mask and just add a draw mask. Just drag that onto that first clip. And we wanna zoom out of this, so go to like 25% or 50. And then from here, we're gonna have the draw mask. So all you gotta do is just make a selection. So I'm gonna click and hold shift and click down. And I'm gonna select, it honestly doesn't matter where you select, but I'm just gonna click here and here, as long as this is straight, okay? So all you gotta do now is just drag this here, just click in between these two points and just drag them out as you can see. All right guys, so once you have that set, go to the beginning of that clip, go into the draw mask and click show and go into the control points and add a keyframe. So from there, go a couple of frames into the music video and then drag this here to the end of that clip, okay? So it's gonna start from a before and an after and you can see if it works or not if you just scroll through that video. So now if we go ahead and fit this to fit and when you push play you're gonna have that effect right there which looks super super cool guys like I said you guys can be really creative with this sometimes since like I said the the video quality makes a big difference so this is obviously in 12 video by 720 so 720 is not that good of resolution but if you have like a 4k video or even a 2k or 1080p this is gonna look really, really good, okay? But this looks super cool, guys. Like I said, you can even adjust the points to have it longer if you want, but that's just the effect that I wanna show you guys in today's video. So if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down below with what effects you guys want me to make, and subscribe, turn on the bell notification to receive weekly videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.